Ariflex SR3 IVS conversion to high definition 1080p IVS. After conversion unit has a SDI video output and also a 3 video output standard definition. Uh, first one, output number one is PAL or NTSC uh, standard definition signal with out data. Output number two is PAL or NTSC with the data and also output for the onboard monitor is PAL or NTSC with a data or not data switchable by uh, that uh, small membrane switch. I will turn power on for the unit. So we can see image on the high definition monitor and also standard definition monitor which is connected to the output number two. So also we can see a data uh, like frame per second footage uh, time code. If I run the camera uh, that uh, data will be updated. So I will run camera 24 frame per second so right now we, we can see here the camera is run 24 frames per second. And on monitor screen we see just little flicker. I stop the camera. This image is taken from the color diagram which is a front of the camera lens. And uh, with this unit we have uh, on-screen display functions which uh, we can activate by pressing enter button. So we can see right now some functions on the uh, monitor screen and uh, using those uh, up down left right button we can just walk and choose right function what we like to change and uh, I just pressing down button here and uh, for example if I press to image and press enter again we can change gamma I said 55. Maybe we can also change to defog on. And uh, after we done we can save the setting. And if I press for a uh, few seconds this button, we can get access to the ARI setup. We can just uh, change what we need uh, to display, what data we, we need to display on the standard definition monitor. So uh, also using those switches here, uh, we can uh, just walk uh, and choose right function. So if we done, just pressing that button again and LED disappear and uh, what we got right now is just uh, on-screen display for the uh, high definition unit. So we can just Disconnect power and connect again.
The video signal, standard definition uh, signal on the output number 2 and uh, on the output for the onboard monitor uh, from that 4-pin uh, uh, Fisher connector is only active if uh, we turn power switch to the middle position. If we don't need uh, data display on the uh, monitor screen, we can just use output number 1 and switch power switch to lower position. On that setting uh, we can uh, save some energy from the battery around 8 watts so battery can uh, run uh, longer uh, because uh, on this uh, setting keypad is not active, on screen display is not active and also RE function, IVS functions are not active. Only uh, active uh, circuit uh, for the high definition uh, signal and also for the standard definition without data. I set the camera speed to 25 frames per second. Run the camera and image is flicker free with the speed 25 frames per second. Stop the camera. I set the camera speed to 30 frames per second, run the camera. Image is flicker free. Stop the camera.